Grab your mochas, grab your lattes, grab your cappuccinos, whatever the hell you're drinking, and settle on in. It's your boy, Jobbers and Goons, and this is The Coffee Shop. I am your host today, and I am super excited for this Blitz battle. We have two polar opposite beings clashing today. Shout out to uh, everybody that's requested these two characters in battles. This is Golden Wonder Woman from uh, DC Comics, basically Ascended Godhood Wonder Woman, versus Pinhead from the Hellraiser verse, which includes novels and comics. I will be briefly going over both in this Blitz battle, reviewing uh, what they bring to the table, and then at the end, I will tell you who I believe would win. If you like content like this, make sure to hit the like and subscribe to show support to my channel, and go over to my main channel, Jobbers and Goons, and show some love and subscribe there as well, if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's get right into this battle. We got Pinhead versus Golden Wonder Woman. Without further ado, let's begin. Now... First, we're going to talk about uh, Golden Wonder Woman. Now, obviously, uh, typically Wonder Woman, um, as we know, is a character, one of the top dogs in the Justice League, capable of keeping up with Superman and Flash Tears. Um, she's able to react to gods and beings with higher metas of speed, uh, giving her insane stats. However, Golden Wonder Woman is a completely different ball game. You see, this is basically a version of Wonder Woman who is seen as worthy of taking up the mantle of the archetypal mom of the verse essentially the reason that kind of makes sense is there is a holy trinity in dc batman superman wonder woman basically serve as fundamental archetypes throughout the verse and so wonder woman is of that pedigree where she's as important of a character narratively to dc that she could take such a high role so using ascended magic um she is able to take the role of golden wonder woman and was able even able to throw hands against the darkest night the darkest night is a being who is able to contend with perpetua who obviously scales to the overvoid which is many layers into outer versal for example it's transcendental um to multiple realms above the god sphere which has arguments for being archetypal or platonic in nature so she's several layers into Outer Versal, one of the strongest characters we have seen in uh, DC Comics. Just for reference, Perpetua and uh, Darkest Night throwing hands threatened to actually collapse the entirety of the DC continuity, which is actually insane to think about. So Golden Wonder Woman has insane reality warping, energy manipulation, uh, unreal stats, high outer stats, and overall is one of the most formidable characters in comic books uh, right now. On the other side of things, we have to get it cracking. On Pinhead, we will be using Elliot Spencer's elaborated on Pinhead in the Hellraiser verse. If you guys didn't know, Hellraiser is a movies franchise, but uh, that franchise doesn't do the scaling as much justice. The creator of the franchise, uh, Wes Craven, as well as others, have worked throughout time on several novels and comics that correctly extrapolate on just how chaotic this verse is in one of the forerunners of the verse pinhead so elliot spencer was a former soldier who picked up a lament configuration if you don't know what that is that is a box of evil that basically unlocks hell and he was captured by cenobites cenobites being demons that uh, specialize in torture and pain and he became one of them I mean, he's perfect for the role. Uh, turns out he's a demon. And he be quickly became one of the strongest Cenobites, eventually taking on the role of Pinhead, one of the strongest to serve under his Lord. Now, the Lord is Leviathan, of course, a being beyond infinite planes of reality. Pinhead in the comics is strong enough to actually impact and literally piss in the Dream Sea. The Dream Sea contains concepts, stories, narratives, fiction, archetype, uh, all philosophies, all these things are contained within the conceptual dream sea. Uh, Pinhead saw this as like a joke and was able to literally uh, mess around and meme with it, which is mid to high outer uh, hacks in terms of being able to ma manipulate the dream sea. He's able to fight other Cenobites, other Lords of Hell. Uh, has even branched off from the Leviathan at one point, but that's like an ascended version of Pinhead we're not using. This is uh, Pinhead as he served under the Leviathan. In his reality warping, understanding of the infinite levels of pain and chaos, transcendental pain, uh, teleporting, uh, and overall his savageness makes him a formidable character. So if these two were to clash, 
Uh, Pinhead versus Golden Wonder Woman. Who do I think wins? I think this would be a chaotic battle to start with Pinhead throwing out several layers of transcendental pain, agony, possibly trying to BFR her, doing everything he can to break down this beacon of hope. But unfortunately, I do think that at least against this version of Pinhead, Golden Wonder Woman scales high enough to uh, overdo his dark magic in transcendental pain and defeat him with her own uh, light of the Omniverse, so to speak. So yeah, I definitely think Golden Wonder Woman would take it here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This battle is mid to high diff. And if you want to see a rematch with Ascended, Elliot Spencer's Pinhead versus Golden Wonder Woman, let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what else you want to see. And if you want to purchase any videos, hit me up on Discord. We can talk about it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been The Coffee Shop, your host, Jobbers and Goons, and I'll see you all later. Peace.